Hello my sunshines, welcome back and thanks for popping in. So for today's video, I have my Universal Yums box for September 2022 to share with you. Now Universal Yums is a monthly international snack subscription box and every month they take us to a different country or region around the world. They theme out the snacks, both salty and sweet, and we get the benefit of doing a great big taste test when it comes into our mailbox. My family's favorite thing to do is once a month have a great big family game night. We'll pull out the cards or a board game and then halfway through we usually pull out our universal yams box and that's where the fun really begins sometimes you'll get an incredible snack where you're like what is this magical flavor i've never tasted before if that happens universal yums does have a shop where you can purchase more of that item in multiple quantities but i think our favorite things are the snacks that are a little bit outside of our comfort zones you know sometimes there's a little trepidation tasting a snack but it's always a really good time and that's where the fun begins so there's a couple of ways you can subscribe to universal yums they have a box with five to seven snacks for only 17 dollars they have a box with 10 to 12 snacks for $29, and they have a box with 15 to 18 snacks, that's a lot of snacks, for $49. Just a side note, some of you guys know that my son went to the dorm this year, and now he is getting the Universal Yums box in his dorm. So if you have a guy that you're looking for a gift or maybe Happy Mail, maybe they moved out, on their own for the first time or they're in the dorm. I mean, definitely you could do this for girls too, but I feel like guys are a little harder to shop for. Consider getting a Universal Yums box for them. I think they're gonna absolutely love it. So as we dive in, I wanted to say my name is Christy and if you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do all kinds of unboxings and clothing hauls and I always do it with a positive spin. I'd love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell before you leave so you're notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so here's the box. I think it's so cute because it's got like chips and donuts and bonbons and cupcakes and all kinds of like snacky things on the front. Let's see where we are going this month. Ooh, South Korea. How fun. So the first thing you see on the box is this little map. It talks about the different parts of South Korea and where some of the snacks are going to come from. Then on the back, you can rate your snacks and they give you a little um, thing that if you like this snack, you'll like this type of thing, which is interesting. Now, one of the things I think they do really well in addition to their snacks is this booklet. So if you're a homeschool mama, you're maybe looking to do something interesting with a geography um, curriculum or something. These are great because it tells a lot about the country. You get fun facts and trivia. You also get some games in the back, which is nice. They give you all the nutritional information on the back if you need to know about that. They also give you a little blurb about each snack because obviously some of the snacks are going to be in the language of the country they come from. So this gives you a little bit more information. This is done really, really well. And then you also get a little sticker it's like a little passport sticker. So you can put that in a little notebook or whatever you want um, to kind of keep track of everywhere you've been. I forgot to uh, mention that when you sign up for Universal Yums, you actually get to pick one of three countries that you wanna visit. So you have the choice of um, going to South America, South Korea or India right now. So you'll pick um, which box you want in which country and then your box will ship in the mail to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out the first item, which is one I already showed you. And these are shrimp chips. I love shrimp. These look like they're a little bit puffy, don't they? Like not like a crispy kettle chip. Let's read about this one really quickly. We won't read about all of them because it'll take long, but I just want to know about this one. Crunchy, airy snack made with real shrimp. So yeah, they are a little bit puffy. Let me grab my scissors here and just take a peek. Yeah. Let's try them. Hmm. They kind of just melt in your mouth. They don't give an overly shrimpy taste. Maybe just a little hint of seafood and just the right amount of salt and crisp on those. Yummy, okay? The next thing we have is some kind of little, I would assume this is a gummy peach candy, because there's the peach there. Let's see, it says that that is the peach flavored gummies. A peach a day keeps the ghosts away. Hearing voices from beyond, did a poltergeist turn off all your lights again? Don't panic because South Korea has a solution to all of your supernatural problems. Peaches. <laughs> 
That's funny. So I like that they bring in some of their culture and beliefs and things in the box too. Okay, the next thing we have is a premium dessert. It says cake. I would assume because it's brown, maybe it's chocolate. Yeah, chocolatey snack cake. Soft cake with fluffy cream filling. Walk into a South Korean bakery and you'll find, and you might just think you've wandered into France, but look a little closer and you'll see loaves of drizzled and condensed milk and buns filled with red bean paste. Because in East Asian countries where rice is a staple, bread and pastries needed to be adapted to local preferences. My daughter is going to love that. I'm gonna save that for her. Okay, the next thing. Okay, now this doesn't feel very South Korean to me. It feels very South American. When I show you, you're gonna understand why. They're called churros sticks. I didn't know you could get churros in South uh, Korea. It says from Spain to South Korea to you. Surprised to see churros in a South Korean box? Then you'll be extra surprised to learn that the Spanish treats are a South Korean sensation. At first, they were only available at amusement parks and movie theaters, but nowadays they're pretty much everywhere. And that's not an exaggeration. In Seoul alone, people munch over 3,000 churros a day. This is a big, huge pack of churros too. Like it's filled to the top. It's not like in America where you get a bag of Doritos and it's like only this many. That's kind of nice. I like that. All right, the next thing, ooh, some kind of white cake cookie, I would guess. See the wafer, but it's got like some frosting or something inside. We'll open these and see, because I'm intrigued. Okay, it says that that guy is a mascarpone filled shortbread cookie, light crispy cookies with a subtle cream flavor. All right, so let's take a peek. There is an expiration date on here also. And just like I said before, that little um, booklet that I was telling you about, it's got all the nutritional information in there. Oh, so they're pre-wrapped and there's a bunch in here. I would say 10 or 12 little individual cookies. So this would be fun if your kids like it to put in their lunch box for a little treat or even your husband if you packed his lunch. Or you just wanna have your morning coffee or tea. Oh, it's neat. It's very flaky and crumbly, but it's got that little strip of chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's really buttery and it just melts into your mouth, but you get that little drizzle of chocolate at the end. Perfect. I'm glad we got 10 of those. And I don't think I'm going to share those with my family. Shh, nobody tell them. Okay. All right. So the next thing we have is a choco pie. This looks like an old fashioned moon pie here in the United States, doesn't it? Sort of. Okay, it says marshmallow chocolate pie is South Korea's border hopping delicacy. You've heard about the 99 red balloons, but how about the 10,000 chocolate balloons? These super popular choco pies were once given to North Korean workers as bonuses, but people like them so much that the tasty treats started to be sold on the black market. Interesting. Okay. The next thing we have is a spicy chicken flavored corn puff. I love the packaging. Look at the chicken right there. <laughs> a little fat green chicken. Okay, it says that these are sweet and spicy snacks with a serious crunch. Ready to try some KFC? And by the way, we mean Korean fried chicken. When Americans brought fried chicken to South Korea in the 50s. It was an expansive delicacy reserved only for special occasions. I wanna see how spicy these are. I'm a lightweight. You can kind of see they've got some like spicy dust maybe on, the, on them. They kind of look like a Cheeto, like a mini Cheeto. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're right about the spicy. They kind of get you because they, they taste very um, sweet when you first put them in your mouth. But now like my whole, like all under here and back here, oh, just from that one, Dawson is going to absolutely love these. Super nice and spicy. 
Okay, the next thing we have is the Papero. These are white cookies. They look like they're a cookie or a pretzel covered in white chocolate with cookie flavored. Let's see what it says about those. I feel like these are very similar to a Pocky. Okay, it says cookies and cream flavored Papero, a cookie stick, stick worth celebrating. Ready to party? This yum is so good that it has its own holiday. Every November 11th, South Koreans celebrate Papero Day. The holiday entails gifting a box of Papero to your friends and family. Oh, that's a fun day. I want a day where we like trade, I guess it's Halloween for us maybe, where we trade candy and treats. So it's a bag and you can feel all of the different um, sticks in here. I just wanna see. They look very pretzel-like on the bottom, but they say it's a cookie. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Mm. I don't wanna share these either. These are really good. I feel like at night, right before you go to bed, if you just want something a little sweet, I'm pulling that out of my of my nightstand over there where I keep my hidden treats. Those are really good. But wait, there's more. This is a bulgogi flavored noodle snack. So it basically looks like ramen. It kind of feels like ramen too. Um, it says bulgogi flavored noodle snack, snack, smash, sprinkle, and snack. Stop. These noodles are too fun to start munching without first learning the correct way to munch. Pushy Pushy is a super popular item in South Korea, and all the cool kids know the right way to eat it. Want to be a cool kid? Then listen up. Carefully open the bag just a bit and take the seasoning packet out. Now comes the fun part. Smash the bag with your fist, hammer, or anything. Then sprinkle in the seasoning. Give the bag a shake, and you're ready to snack. Delicious. Yum. Don't boil it. Smash it. I wonder if you could boil it if you wanted to. Yum. Okay, and then we have one more thing in here. This is a sweet and sour chewy grape candy. It almost has the shape of a now and later. One, oh, but it's skinnier. Two, three, four, five, six, at least eight chews in here. Great flavor, I feel like, is a safe flavor. It's universally probably flattering. It says, inspired by the Yongdong Grape Festival. Before you dig in, take a look at the wrapper. These grapes look ready to party, right? That's because the Grape Festival um, from mid-August to mid-September is South Korea's biggest wine-making region. There's the grapes right there celebrates their beloved crop. Visitors get to uh, make so grape soap, dance in grape pools, and eat shaved ice smothered in grape juice. Ready to get in on the fun? The sweet and sour chews bring the festivity straight to you. I love hearing about different like festivals and days like the Papero Day that different countries have that are so different from ours. Very, very cool. Oh, these have vitamin C in them. So that was my box. I thought it was really good. What did you think? I don't know what my favorite one is. Probably those little cookies with the with the ribbon through them sounded really good. The shrimp chips were really good too, I have to say. Typically, I love more the crunchy sweets than the sweet ones, but they did some really good sweet ones this time. Also, around the summer, they stopped doing a lot of chocolate, but now is the time to subscribe because as the fall and winter come back, they bring the chocolate back into the boxes because they're not going to melt when they ship. So definitely take a um, look at getting a Universal Yums for you or your family or maybe as a gift. I'll put the link down below. Just FYI, that is a referral link. They do send this box to me for review, but we truly love this box like from the bottom of my heart our family's like when's our universal yums box coming in anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon for another one bye bye guys